My whole life, people have said to me, Kevin, you do too much. And that's, first of all, damn, it is a beautiful day. It's like the perfect temperature. The sun is just a little bit warm. Mm. Yeah, Kevin, you do too much. And that is probably true. I have always had my hands in like five creative projects at the same time. And for most of my life, I was constantly apologizing for that. I felt like people were critical of me. Like sometimes people would say, are you just trying to like throw everything against the wall and see what sticks? Or that maybe it felt kind of desperate or something. And to be honest, I have been desperate many times in my life. I lived in my car for a while. I've always been in the middle of writing a screenplay and working on a photo project and trying to record an album and <laughs> all at the same time. And for the record, I actually complete a decent amount of those projects. So yeah, I was always like insecure about it and making apologies for myself. So a couple years before the pandemic, someone gave me as a birthday gift, a session with a psychic, which is not something I would ever do on my own. But I was like, why not? I'll try anything. And in my session with the psychic, one of the first things she said was, oh, you're so creative. Like, it's like your main characteristic. You're, you do so many things. And I instantly was like, yeah, I know. I'm trying to like decide what I want to do and like commit to one thing. And I'm really bad about, you know, always coming up with a new idea. And she was like, immediately she was like, do, do all of it. Like, don't, don't apologize. You can do a lot of things, so just do all the things. And no one had, I don't know, this is so weird. No one had ever said that to me before. And something clicked, like, I didn't even realize that I had been apologizing for my whole life. There was immediate magic and power in embracing myself. Uh, in that very moment, something inside me flipped and I stopped apologizing. In my hometown, there's this phrase that goes, you're too big for your britches. Meaning like you really think you're somebody, don't you? Oh, and maybe if you're from a small town, you might relate like often, this is a stereotype, but like people don't like it when you leave and try to like do something different. You're getting too big for your britches. Just who do you think you are? We kind of do that to each other, you know? We don't, sometimes we don't like it when people try to do things or they try. When I first started blowing up on the apps, I was in the middle of trying to get my photography studio opened. And there was a moment in the early days where I was like, oh wait, I have this new audience. I'm gonna show people my photography. And maybe, you know, maybe I'll make a photography book and some of these people will be interested in that. It had taken me so long to gather all that equipment. It's so expensive. And, you know, and I finally managed to get my studio set up and open. Are all of your photos, your memories, taken on a cell phone, stored on social media? Once in a while, wouldn't it be nice to have at least some nice photos? Maybe even one hanging on the wall in your home. My name is Kevin James Thornton. I'm a portrait photographer. I have a studio in Germantown. I shoot exclusively on high-end vintage cameras with real film. Then we print your photos in a beautiful album or matted and framed with gallery quality materials. They'll last more than a lifetime. Reach out to me. Let's make something special. And then it turns out that I don't, I don't really like people. <laughs> I'm not super good at like customer service. And I learned really quickly that like the, the fun and the creativity was really drained out of a photography business. And then as fate would have it, my TikTok started blowing up. This is a little bit of a tangent, but I'm gonna tell you about my photography project I've been working on. 
early on I thought maybe I would try to do like a boudoir photography business that seemed a little more artistic and uh, I hired a couple of models and I took some early photos that inspired me and I've been working on this project all this time that is going to be sort of a photo essay on uh, accepting yourself and specific this is <laughs> We're gonna get real pretentious for a minute here. It's the human experience through the human body. So it's like a figure study. I'm still sort of finding it, but I've been photographing people and myself with sort of exploring visually what it looks like to accept yourself, what it looks like to break out of repression. You know, we carry so much weird shame and repression around our bodies and our sexualities. So. It's like a photo study on that. And eventually I want to do like a coffee table book and maybe even a traveling gallery show. This is like in the future. But I've been taking these photos and side note, as I'm traveling around doing my shows, I have my ca one of my cameras with me. If there is anyone in any of the cities I'm going to that would be interested in being in my photo project, let me know. I can't really show you most of these photos. They're a little too racy for TikTok and Instagram, but I can show you on my Patreon. Let's do a little Patreon commercial. I've been building up my Patreon and posting lots of stuff that I don't put anywhere else. And uh, thank you. It's like the perfect place for me and all my creative ideas. And I'm really gracious and appreciative to the people who have joined it and gone with me on all of my tangents. Anyway, let's get this video back on track. This is about embracing yourself. Stop making apologies. There's a lot of power in that. And hey, I have a ton of flaws, you guys. I'm a very flawed person, and I embrace that as well. You know, you have to sort through the things that are, that are in need of work and embrace all of the things about yourself balance. Don't let anyone convince you you're too big for your britches. Be too big for your britches. I think britches are pants. I'm not totally sure. This is just such a beautiful day.